Hey everyone, it's Simon from Higher Plane Games. Hope you're well and having a great day, great day. Welcome to Intralism, a new rhythm game. And you know me, I love my rhythm games. If, I, if there's a beat, I'll bounce to it. <laughs> there's a lot of you to bounce to. Uh, and this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, rhythm game that is hard as nails. And it relies quite heavily, actually, on you being able to get levels from the Steam Workshop or create your own and share. Uh, but let's dive in and take a little look. So, you get given six songs to start with. And as you can see, I've only unlocked four of them because it is that difficult. And you know me, I'm quite good at rhythm games. So if I'm saying something's difficult, it's difficult. Uh, and the reason for that is that you're given a real... You're essentially having to aim for about a 99% uh, perfection rate. Otherwise, it will fail you. Uh, songs are broken down into checkpoints for you to get through. And you're using the arrow keys uh, because there's only four things that things are coming at you. I'm explaining stuff now because I'm going to mute up when I go into the actual level itself. Um, so you can kind of see how it all works and what goes on. Um, I'm going to go for Visionary, which is the first level. From uh, Liquid Juice... Liquid... Liquid... Blah, liquicy. Liquicity! <laughs> Drum bass music. Galaxy of Dreams. Uh, and I'll let you know from there. Now it's worthwhile saying up front that there is no bar for you to hit the uh, hit zones when they're coming down. Uh, it's all about making sure that you hit the button before it gets out of sight. So with that in mind, this is Intralism. Enjoy!
must be small. Must be small. And there we go. So, <clears throat> as you can see there, I got two incorrect. In general, I find that anywhere between three and five incorrect things over a course of a song or a checkpoint. Um, in this case, I think for this song specifically, it's checkpoint. But um, later on, it's like three incorrect throughout the entire song. And that's quite a really high pass rate that you need to get to. So you'll find yourself repeating and re-going over those six things again. Um, but as you can see, you can kind of, you, so long as you get to them before they disappear, you're okay. Um, and once you get your head around that, you're fine and you get away with stuff. Now, as you continue on and go up through leveling up, I think you unlock skins and menu themes which aren't necessarily available on the beta at the moment uh, because this has just come out of Steam Greenlight. Um, you have multiplayer as well where you can connect to a network. Uh, there's no games found because we're in beta but essentially you are um, going to create somewhere Bye. Uh, you'll add up to four people in choose your song and then your scores will go along the top right hand side so if I just do my heart just so that you can kind of see what happens when it all goes wrong and I'll start that on my own And so you'll see the scores of the people over on the right hand side. And if I just purposely do this wrong in a minute, I really like the song. <laughs> Can you see that each time I'm getting something wrong, it was the ball in the middle was reacting to it? Yeah. GG, all to myself, and uh, menu, and we'll come out of that. Uh, so that's how multiplayer works online, which is great. Um, you can get more levels from the Steam Workshop, or there is a level editor as well. Now I've not really dived, doved into this, uh, but essentially you'll load up a song uh, that you have either copyright ownership to, or you created yourself, um, and then can sit and play with the what you want to happen so yes you can have two or three or four things coming down at once um, which is interesting so that keeps you very much on your toes uh, and then once you're done you can save it or load it up publish it to steam so that it's on the steam workshop for you to play with um, and then you'll find it in your solo stuff either in the workshop that you've done or in the editor that you're in the middle of doing so you can go back and play stuff as you go along. Uh, so it's a little bit light on the arcade concept. Uh, I think they're looking at doing it around three or four dollars for the price point for you to get into this, which I think is a really great deal for uh, what this is. But this is gonna need a community to come in and actually create the levels. Um, and I've seen some people that are starting to play with the levels. We're still in closed beta, so it's not like got an influx of things going on but it seems relatively simple. I think I'll have a go with the level editor and see how I get on. Um, I've always wanted to do that with this and with Sound Dodger. Um, specifically, I really wanted to do a level with that, so I think we'll do some tutorials on that in the future. But this is Intralism. I'm giving it two hearty thumbs up. I love the aesthetic. I love the bokeh effects of how everything just looks so dreamy and cutesy. Um, but hard as nails, hard as nails. I hope they put in some kind of like easy mode to ease people in, because otherwise I think people might struggle with this initially. Um, but yeah, if you're a rhythm action guy, be sure to pick this up, because it's going to be a great addition to your library. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what I do, please do consider subscribing. Uh, and I do have a Patreon for people that want to support all of my works across games, music, and radio. Take care, all. Bye!